Malignant pleural mesothelioma lung. Malignant pleural mesothelioma, MPM, is a cancer that develops in the lungs. Almost 75% of diagnosed mesothelioma cases form in the pleura, making it the most common of the four types. The lungs and chest cavity are lined with a thin tissue membrane known as the pleura. When asbestos fibers get lodged in the lining of the lungs they can cause inflammation and scarring. The tumors that form in the pleura are known as pleural mesothelioma. The cause of pleural mesothelioma is exposure to asbestos fibers, which are inhaled into the lungs. It usually takes from 20 to 50 years for mesothelioma to develop after a person's first exposure to asbestos. Because of this latency period, the disease usually affects people older than 75. The average life expectancy for pleural mesothelioma is often less than 18 months, but it depends on many factors. Although there is no cure for mesothelioma, some patients live much longer with treatments. Combining several treatments, such as surgery, chemotherapy and radiation therapy, has helped some people live for years. Clinical trials offer access to new treatments such as immunotherapy. What causes pleural mesothelioma? Asbestos causes pleural mesothelioma. After inhaling the minerals needle-like fibers, they tend to lodge in the lungs and gradually migrate into the pleural lining. Over a long period of time, these fibers cause irritation, chronic inflammation and genetic changes that turn cells cancerous. These cancerous cells grow fast and uncontrollably, threatening the organs around them. Two layers make up the pleural lining. The outer layer lines the entire inside of the chest cavity, inside the ribs, and the inner layer covers the lungs. A malignant tumor can develop on either layer and quickly spread to the other layer. As tumors develop on the pleural surface, they grow to form a mass around the affected lung. They also cause pleural fluids to accumulate in the chest cavity. The combination of tumor mass on the lung and collection of pleural fluids prevents the lung from expanding, which causes breathing difficulties. Symptoms of Pleural Mesothelioma For many people, mesothelioma symptoms are not noticeable until the cancer is in a later stage. Shortness of breath, chest pain or painful breathing, persistent dry or raspy cough, coughing up blood, difficulty swallowing, pain in the lower back or rear barrier, unexplained weight loss and fatigue, swelling of the face or arms, night sweats or fever, lumps under the skin on the chest. Patients rarely mention weight loss and fatigue during their initial doctor visit. These symptoms may show if the cancer is advanced. Some patients develop swelling of the face or arms, back pain or nerve pain. Connect with a top mesothelioma doctor on Mesothelioma USA. Net. We've helped thousands of people affected by mesothelioma find the best treatments. Plural mesothelioma treatment options. Standard plural mesothelioma treatment options can include surgery, radiation therapy and chemotherapy. Chemotherapy is the most common type of plural treatment. A combination of treatments can be used, which is known as multimodal therapy, if a patient is diagnosed early. These treatments can improve symptoms, such as chest pain and breathing difficulties, and improve survival. Patients can access these therapies at top cancer centers across the nation that specialize in pleural mesothelioma treatment, chemotherapy. The most common pleural mesothelioma treatment is chemotherapy. It uses one or more drugs, usually a combination of cisplatin or carboplatin and pemetrexed, alumta, to kill cancer cells or prevent them from reproducing. Recent advances have improved how well patients respond to chemotherapy, but success rates remain low overall. Surgery Plural mesothelioma patients diagnosed in the early stages benefit the most from surgery. The goal of surgery is to remove the cancer and prevent it from recurring as long as possible. The two most common surgeries for pleural mesothelioma are the extrapleural pleural and pleurectomy and decortication. A pleural mesothelioma specialist can determine if you are eligible for surgery and advise you on which procedure may be the best option for your diagnosis. Extrapleural pleural A more aggressive surgical option, the extrapleural pleural removes the pleura, the entire cancerous lung, the diaphragm and the heart sac, pericardium. Pleurectomy and decortication A pleurectomy and decortication, or radical pleurectomy, involves removing the tumors and affected pleura, lining of the lung. Radiation therapy Targeted radiation can destroy cancer cells and decrease tumor size. Radiation therapy cannot cure pleural mesothelioma, but it is an effective way to manage chest pain. Radiation can also help prevent cancer recurrence after surgery. 
External beam radiation therapy is the most common form of radiation therapy for pleural mesothelioma. Sessions are fast, painless and only take a few minutes. Emerging treatments. Emerging treatments include the use of immunotherapy, gene therapy and photodynamic therapy to treat pleural mesothelioma. These treatments are designed to fight cancer more effectively, while causing fewer side effects for the patient. You may be able to receive an experimental therapy through a pleural mesothelioma clinical trial. Some patients may be eligible for immunotherapy drugs and other emerging treatments through compassionate use programs. Complementary and Alternative Medicine Some patients may benefit from combining complementary therapies, such as medical marijuana, dietary supplements or acupuncture, with conventional cancer treatment to ease symptoms and treatment side effects. To avoid harmful drug interactions, always consult your medical team before starting any complementary medicine or therapy. 5 Tips When Considering Treatment 1. Set clear treatment goals. What's most important to you, longevity or quality of life? To research each treatment option and ask your doctor as many questions as you can think of. 3. Determine where you will receive recurrent treatments such as immunotherapy infusions. Will you have to travel far and how often? For consider the side effects of suggested chemotherapy drugs and how it may impact your quality of life. 5. Seek a second opinion. Surgery may still be an option, or you may be eligible for a clinical trial. Did you know? The average cost of mesothelioma treatment is $11,000 to $12,000 a month. An experienced mesothelioma lawyer can help you and your family get money to cover treatment costs, travel expenses and more. All information on the website mesotheliomouse.net Diagnosing Pleural Mesothelioma The diagnostic process for pleural mesothelioma begins when a doctor evaluates the initial symptoms for the disease. Chest pain and breathing difficulty warrant a chest x-ray, which reveals fluid buildup or tumors around a lung. The patient must be referred to a specialist for further testing. Specialists must use advanced imaging scans and tissue biopsies to confirm a pleural mesothelioma diagnosis. In addition to identifying the cancer, determining the cancer stage and cell type is vital to creating an effective treatment plan. Most cases of malignant mesothelioma are diagnosed with the epithelial cell type, which is also called epithelioid. The least common cell type is sarcomatoid mesothelioma. It is aggressive and difficult to treat and most of these cases occur in pleural patients. The biophasic cell type is a blend of these two cells types. There are a number of conditions that may indicate a person's history of asbestos exposure and the potential of a mesothelioma diagnosis, including pleural plagues, pleural effusions and pleural thickening. In a 2020 study published in Case Reports, a case of pleural mesothelioma was discovered through testing of metastatic gastric and colonic polyps identified in imaging scans. These polyps were the only sign that the patient had pleural mesothelioma. Pleural plagues. Small areas of thickening on the pleural are the most common sign someone has been exposed to asbestos in the past. Pleural plagues are not cancerous and usually do not cause symptoms, but they may indicate an elevated risk for cancer. Pleural effusion. Irritation from asbestos fibers can cause excess fluid to build up between the two layers of the pleural. This condition, called pleural effusion is present in many pleural mesothelioma cases. A little fluid between the pleural layers is healthy. Too much puts pressure on the lungs, causing chest pain that worsens when you cough or take deep breaths. Pleural thickening. When large areas of the pleural stiffen because of scarring, it may become difficult and painful to breathe. Pleural thickening around both lungs is often a sign of significant asbestos exposure. Repeated episodes of pleural effusion can cause pleural thickening to worsen as scar tissue collects. 